Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So I'm pretty excited to be doing the first of our 10 in 1 uh, Maxitronics Electronic Project Lab uh, projects. Uh, this, is, this is the 10 in 1 Project Lab from Maxi Maxitronics. We'll be doing the first uh, project over in the booth now in this video. Uh, hopefully you already saw the introduction to this uh, uh, kit, which I did in a previous video. Um, so today we're going to be doing the first of the 10 experiments. In the following nine videos, we'll be doing the rest of the experiments. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to the booth here and put the project together. Um, and then once that's done, we're going to bring it back over here to the bench and have a look at how the circuit behaves using some of the bench equipment, such as the oscilloscope, the thermal imager, and the power supply. So um, let's pop you over to the booth and let's put this project together. Here we are in the booth, ready to put our, uh, our, our project together. I'll, uh, I'll just switch you over to the manual and we'll have a look at that. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, this is circuit number one, Morse code by light. This simple series circuit will let you practice or transmit Morse code, not by sound, but by light. The lamp will light whenever the key is pressed down. Using two kits, you and your friend can communicate with each other without any wired connections. Just position the lamps where they can be seen by each other. It is even easier to transmit and receive in the dark. You can use the international Morse code printed on the last page of this manual. So uh, you can see the schematic diagram here. It connects the battery to the lamp and the lamp to a key and the key to the battery. So we need uh, three wires, connect 24 to 26, 27 to 28, and 25 to 29. So the first one is, uh, uh, oh, let's just jump you over to the thing. So we're gonna put our wires in now. So we're doing 24 to uh, 26, which is the, uh, um, the positive terminal of the battery over to one terminal of the lamp. I suppose it's worth mentioning that uh, in this project, there's no polarized components. The switch and the, the lamp um, can be connected um, either way. Uh, of course, the battery needs to be corrected, uh, co co connected the, the correct way, um, which we'll do after we finish wiring the parts. So as you can see, we've uh, connected the battery to the lamp and then the lamp to the switch and then the switch to the battery. Uh, this is our battery here, so let's uh, plug him in. And if everything's gone according to plan, when we press the, the light, uh, <coughs> sorry, when, when we press the key, the light will come on. So let's give it a try. Perfect. And of course, uh, this is Morse code, so. That's the only thing I know how to do in Morse code. It's SOS, SOS. So uh, that completes the construction of this particular project. So let's pop you over to the bench and let's have a look at this thing under our test equipment. Well, here we are on the bench, and uh, this is our assembled project. Um, what we'll be doing is uh, replacing uh, the battery with our um, bench power supply, which is um, this uh, this guy over here. Uh, the reason why we want to do that is uh, this will tell us the voltage uh, that's in that's being applied and uh, how much current's being drawn, um, and also calculate the wattage from that information. So um, that'll give us a little bit of an indication of what's going on uh, with the circuit. So we're not going to use the battery; we're going to use the power supply. So uh, let's just connect that up quickly now. So we've got uh, negative over here and positive over here. So if I just throw you back over to the bench, um, th this is not live yet. I haven't plugged it in, so we don't have to worry about shorting it out or anything like that. Pop off the, uh, the battery and we can just leave him up in the corner. Now, uh, which side is positive? Positive is big. So this is positive here and this is negative here. So uh, we'll just run those cables up the back where they stay out of the way. Now let's just give him a, a quick test. Uh, well, I'll just throw you first uh, back over here and let's enter our information. So we want to set uh, the voltage at 9 volts and we want to set the current. I don't know how much current it'll need, probably not much. And I, I think that's just, I don't even know what current means. It'll, it, it, yeah, I don't know. If you know, let me know. But we've set the voltage at 9 volts. Um, let's put the over voltage, um, over voltage at 10 volts and we'll put uh, over current at 2 amps. Um, and then we'll turn this guy on, on he goes. He's delivering nine volts. Um, let's throw you back over here. Um, and we can see that the, the lamp comes on just as we suspect. And if I just put you back over here, um, we see that the, the bulb is drawing about 164 milliamps, 164 milliamps pretty consistently. So, um, uh, okay, that, that concludes that part of the experiment. The next thing that we'll do is we'll, um, We'll show you, uh, oh, hang on, just bear with me for a second. Um, we want to get the HDMI uh, facility operational. Okay, HDMI is on. So uh, let me throw you over to this view. Now, what you see uh, there, that's the uh, oscilloscope, which we'll be using in a minute. And this 
is the thermal cam. So you can see the thermal cam, you can see my warm hand over the project. So what we'll do is we'll just pop this into view of the thermal cam, which is roughly there, give it a bit more space at the back. Okay, you can see my hands on either side. Now when we hit the Morse code key and the light comes on, you can see it's become the hottest point on the video there. Anyway, I, I release it, it cools down and my hands become the hot point. If I move my hands out of the video, then there's some uh, electronics on the back left, I think is, is all hot now. So um, yeah, you can see that, that that globe gets really quite hot. It's, uh, what's that, 43 degrees Celsius um, and it cools down fairly quickly as well. So uh, that's the thermal cam. Now the next thing that I wanna do is just uh, throw this uh, into the scope um, <clears throat> And see what we can see. So uh, I'm just going to pick. Uh, what two leads here? I've got one yellow for channel one, and I've got one blue for channel two. All right. So let's put channel one and channel two on. Now. Um, let's first of all just connect these up. So what I was thinking of doing is on channel one, I'm just gonna go straight across the power supply. So uh, we should see that should be just a constant nine volts, I believe. And then for uh, channel two, I'm just gonna go across the, uh, across the lamp. Oh, ah. So if we press the key down, oh, perhaps I shouldn't have done that. There we go. All right, well, I, uh, I'm not sure what I was expecting to see across the, uh, across the battery anyway, except for a constant voltage. I suppose the thing I was interested in is uh, how much less power is there uh, across the lamp than there is across the battery, just if there's other resistances in the key or the wires or anything like that. I suppose that's what I was thinking, but... Uh, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, limit our investigations to, um, to to just what's happening across the uh, across the, the the lamp here. So uh, let me throw you over to this view, um, and you can see uh, what have we got? That we've got the second channel in operation here. So what we'll do, I'll just uh, pop that out, and we'll turn the second channel off. And uh, the first channel is on, and it'll be uh, positive on this side and negative on this side. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's all a bit interesting, isn't it? So uh, let's hit uh, auto, and it should just basically flatline. Oh, I've got channel two back on. I'm not sure why that's there. There he's off. All right, and we'll hold him down, and we'll hit him on auto. <sighs> and there he is. Uh, okay, that channel two keeps on coming back on. I'm not sure why. Try and turn him off. All right, and uh, let's put that there, and then change the offset to uh, four, uh, minus, okay, and uh, if we um, just put the uh, uh, oh yeah, okay, we don't, we don't care about the counter. What we want to see display, and then uh, show scale. There we go. So we've got the scale now on the left, and the other thing we want to do is measure. Oh, that's not what we want. How about display? No, measure statistic, statistic on. No. So what we're looking for is, uh, is just the counters. I'm not sure where those are. What about analyze, counter? No, we don't want the counter. We want, um, <clears throat> what are they called? Statistics, no, it's not called statistics. Uh, acquire, no, storage, no, cursor. Oh, there's the cursors, all right, we don't care about that. Display, uh, more, must be utility. Uh, no. Why can't I find what I'm looking for? Setting, channel one. So I, I hope you can bear with me as we, oh, there we go, all measure, and then down to channel one. And there we go, that's what I was looking for. So for future reference, what was that? It was measure, all measure, then what channel, that's good. So it is measure, just move that down there. All right now, so we're looking at the, at the, at the circuit um, in, its, in its open state. So let's close it. And the voltage average has gone up to 8.8 .8 volts. 
um, and then we release it, it goes back down to a couple of millivolts, negative. Standard deviations, a few hundred millivolts. And uh, we can see the, the, uh, the signal toggle between states. So the three back over here, um, you can see when I hit the, the button, the light comes on, uh, the, the signal goes up and, and that's how it goes. Now, I'm not sure if I can change the, uh, the time scale here. I hope you can bear with me as I learn all of this. It's uh... So if I press that, I was hoping to see, uh, I was hoping to see the signal evolve. There we go. There we go. So uh, you can see, uh, oh, there we go. That's fun. So yeah, there it goes, up it goes, and then eventually it wraps around, there it goes. All right. So uh, yeah, we can see that toggling between zero and nine volts. So uh, there we go. So uh, that concludes the first of our 10 in one uh, Maxitronics Electronic Project Lab experiments. I thought it was pretty good fun. What did you think? <laughs> uh, this is our, uh, our Morse code uh, uh, circuit. We've um, uh, taken the opportunity to, to throw it under the scope and, and see how it behaves. We got to use the power supply to investigate the current that was being drawn by the circuit. Um, we used the thermal imager to see that the, the light got into the 40 degrees Celsius range. Um, uh, I didn't entirely understand what happened when, when I connected the... Um, uh, the probe across the battery. I didn't even really know what I was expecting to see. As I said earlier, I was kind of interested in maybe if there was resistance uh, in, in these parts of the circuit. So if, if we took the, the, the voltage across the battery and the voltage across the lamp, if they weren't exactly the same. Um, but uh, that didn't seem to work out and I didn't know exactly what I was doing. So I just backed off on that pretty quickly. Uh, if, you, if you have any comments about what I could have done better when I was investigating the circuit, I'd be very happy to hear from you. Um, let me know if, if you've got any comments or suggestions or, or particularly if it's something you, you could teach me. So um, look, that concludes the first video. Thanks very much for watching. There's going to be more of these in the future. I've got nine more projects to do. So those will be coming out uh, in the next couple of days. I'm going to try and release one video every day. Um, uh, they're not, not every day will be uh, a Maxitronics project. Some days will be just the normal uh, show uh, of, uh, in the lab with JJ where I do other things, but the, the Maxitronics projects are going to be an ongoing feature of the show and there will be a lot of them coming out. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.